After working with um, multimedia projections, um, I realized that um, it lacks a uh, certain satisfaction um, both for myself as well as for the audience. Ma many of the theatre productions was um, very often um, a one-way kind of experience whereby you have a show, it's there for you, the audience sits and, and they watch the show. This time round, I chose a medium which is um, very pricky um, in nature. So it's both um, a seeing and touching experience for the audience when uh, interacting with the art piece. Wanted to go back to fundamentals, wanted to go back to the basics of uh, an image. If you talk about an image, dots and lines and planes would be the most fundamental makeup of, uh, of an image or illustration. Pins to represent the dots, thread to represent the lines, okay? Uh, yet having that tactile quality to it, which I want to introduce this, this, this um, sensation while looking at an image, okay? Um, I realised the shadows cast onto the board itself uh, could become uh, the work on its own. Having um, also two animation pieces in the same space, uh, I started to question myself as in what would it give my piece the temporal quality, the time quality to it. I didn't want it to be static. Uh, I wanted an image that is constantly changing. Um, but I don't want to impose a change on the audience. Uh, but I wanted them to introduce that, 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 that element of surprise with, with my artwork. There comes about the use of a lamp, a, a roly poly lamp, yeah, to introduce a shadow. So I was constantly searching for a structure of my visuals um, rather than an aesthetic pursuit in terms of an imagery, I wanted to have uh, like a program. If you talk about computers program, it's a repetition, but if you were to introduce variables, in this case, variables of light, variables of the strength of the needle, variables of tension, what would happen to that image?